shadow. I'm sure you've heard of the word. In fact, I'm sure that you've even used it yourself. But can we ask the question, what causes a shadow? Then, if you can imagine the travelers of light running in rows at the same speed, running towards their destination. But on their way, some of them encounter a wall with spikes, killing them instantly. Which means that only a few of them make it to their destination. So the ones who reach their destination look around and notice their missing fellow travelers. Now that missing area where there are no soldiers or travelers is what we call a shadow. Whatever light that began was stopped by an opaque object, usually, and then that area is left behind as a dark, relatively dark spot. Yeah. Why I'm saying relatively is because it's darker than its surroundings. That's it. Yeah. So that place is what we call a shadow. Now, why I also said usually by an opaque object is you can even keep a mirror. Then will a mirror create a shadow? Think about it. I don't know. I don't know anything about mirrors, no. So I'll answer this question once I learn about reflections and what mirrors do. But for now, I have another question. So there's a shadow created by some opaque object, right? Light was stopped and it created a shadow. But I'm really confused about why the object's shape and the shadow's shape are so connected. What could that mean? Now, when I was young, right, when I was a park cut at home, I used to spend a lot of time just lighting one candle and keeping my hand next to it and looking at the shadow. It's be fascinating. Most fascinating of that was if I take my hand closer and closer to that candle, the shadow became bigger and bigger and bigger. Right? And if I took it further and further away, it became smaller and smaller and smaller. In fact, if I I used to do this with the torch light as well. Take that torch light, and then uh, you have your hand next to it, and then you make the torch light go closer and closer and closer. The shadow becomes really large. Now, what I'm not interested in is whether you know that the object shape and the shadow shape are connected. Whether you know that the closer an object is to a light source, the larger the shadow will be. I don't care about these things. What I do care about is, can you infer something? In other words, come up with your own idea about how light must travel, given that you know this. You're observing that objects in shadow have some shape connection. You get closer, it becomes bigger. With all this, can you tell me? How you think light must be traveling? In what way it travels? So before we close shadows, I have two questions for you. The first one for which the answer you will find just a couple of videos later, and that is: Is a mirror an opaque object? Think about it. And the second question is one for which even I don't have a very satisfactory answer: Is light opaque or transparent?